the Leopards up and win their first ball game of the season. A happy coach, Fran O'Hanlon with Mike. Coach, real physical uh, basketball game today, but uh, the kids seemed to pull it out. I mean, that was an exceptional game, I thought, on the defensive end. That's where you picked it up. Yeah, I mean, I thought we played good defense in the first half. Yeah. Um, you know, we went out at half down one. We took some quick shots at times in the first half, but I thought that we played the same kind of defense that we did in the first half, in the second half, and we did a better job offensively, which we did. Um, that will be fine, you know, and, and it proved to be this case, you know. Yeah, you and I always talk about growing up. I thought the kids grew up a little bit, especially breaking that press today. There's no doubt. I mean, it, it was, we've had, uh, you know, they, they were a little shaken at times. They threw some things away. It, it wasn't any different than we see in practice, sure. but sometimes with the lights on, uh, we threw a couple very ill-advised passes. Right. Fortunately, we had a little bit of a lead before they turned that press on, you know, right. and uh, we did a good job at the end, and Matt did a great job, and, and all those freshmen, uh, I thought they stepped up. Everybody had nice games and uh, really had a good second half. Congratulations on your first win, Coach. Go get them now. We'll see you Wednesday against Penn. Yes, uh, really tough game again, but no easy games there. You know. Coach, thanks. Appreciate it. Matty, come on in here. Congratulations, 28 points tonight, 13 for 13 from the foul line, but I thought a great team effort, and it all started on that defensive end coming out of halftime. Yeah, we, uh, we've been working on our defense. It's... It's come along, and it's good to see us getting stops when we need them most. And uh, defense comes along, and you got to get the rebound. And we were grabbing the rebounds as well, so it was yeah, great now, to see. Now you struggled a little early. How did that get to your psyche a little bit? Because I saw you get to the line. Does that kind of calm you down a little bit? Getting to the line, making some shots, seeing a couple go in. Yeah, just seeing the ball going from the foul line. But my teammates at halftime are just telling me to keep shooting the ball, and I, they have all the confidence in the world in me, and I have all the confidence in them. And they'll find me, and we'll we got the win today. As you uh, think about it, you come back Wednesday against Penn and it doesn't get any easier, but these games are going to help you down the stretch. Oh, definitely. We'll be ready for them. We'll just keep working and ride this high we're on right now. So Congratulations on a great win. Thank you. Guys, big win for the Leopards, their first of the year, and I thought they grew up today. Back to you. Question, Michael, thank you very much for those interviews and two happy people in Fran, Holan Fran O'Hanlon and Matt Klonuski. All right, let's take a look at the highlights and let's listen to John Leone. Thanks again, Gary. You know what? Sometimes it's not a matter of winning. It's how you win. And uh, Lafayette today uh, faced a, uh, a formidable opponent. Ragoni from downtown. You saw Daniels on the inside. This was a physically talented team. And uh, although they were shaky at times against the press, remember that, uh, uh, you know, this is a young group uh, facing a quick athletic team in Quinnipiac. This is a team that's coming off a two-point win over UMass. This is not a team. They lost at the buzzer to a major conference foe in Colorado. So before you think that Quinnipiac, who's relatively new, relatively new to Division I basketball, uh, they play in a terrific conference, and Lafayette's youngsters were up to the challenge today, as was their leader, Matt Klanuski. So I thought this was a great game to learn from, especially uh, on the heels of a win. There you see Jaworski making another play after knocking down a three-pointer uh, in transition. Uh, you know, he just knows where the ball has to go. Look at the uh, entry pass from J uh, Jalice uh, to Klinuski. Uh, you know, his team's only going to get better. Miles Cherry contributed on the inside. Another great pass from the freshman Jaworski. And uh, Justin uh, now uh, uh, takes it to the bucket strong. Uh, just a terrific player here. And there you see a great finish off a drive. I mean, he was hitting on all cylinders. But, you know, Gary, we've seen Alex Petrie do it. We've seen uh, uh, now Jaworski do it. And we've seen E.J. Stevens do it. I still think one of the uh, sleeping giants at 6'8 is Dylan Hastings. I think, uh, for what it's worth, that this freshman class, this four, is one of the best Lafayette has had in a long, long time, and they're going to do a lot of good things before they leave this campus. Well, the numbers will prove that out today as you get a look at some of the team numbers. Let me talk about some individuals. For Quinnipiac, Cameron Young with 11 points, and Shays Daniels had 12 points. As they were, uh, they had 19 field goals, six three-pointers, 14 for 22 from the foul line for their 61 points as they go to two and six on the season. For Lafayette, Obviously, Matt Klonuski, with 26 points and seven rebounds, leads the Leopards, as he probably will in every ball game. But freshman Justin Jaworski, 19 points after coming off a 24-point game against Drexel. E.J. Stevens, 18 points in the ball game. So those, uh, that's a career high for E.J. 
Konuski, as we mentioned, with 26. The Lafayette, 76 points, won 22 field goals, 8 for 24 from beyond the arc, 27 for 29. That certainly is an important number from the foul line, 93%. Lafayette wins at 76-61. They go to 1-6 and six and get ready for Penn on Wednesday night, and that's when we will see you next as the Leopards take on Penn at 8 o'clock, as the women will take on Princeton at 6 o'clock. That's it for Mike Joseph, John Leone, John Sabino, and the Lafayette Sports Network team. Thanks for spending time with us. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.